Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk a little about economic thresholds for insects. Now, don't get me wrong here, we're not going to get super complicated. If you're a non-farmer, we want you to understand what this is, basically so you know that farmers just don't go randomly spraying pesticides out there. They're looking at how many bugs they actually have in the field first before they spray. Well, that's not the case for me, Brian. Around my house, if I've got one mosquito flying around in the yard and I want to spend that night that's in, your economic out in the yard, threshold, though. one is all it takes because it can <laughs> completely ruin my night. You know, when we're out in fields, if you have one bug in a whole field and you have 30,000 corn plants or 150,000 soybean plants, I'm not too worried about the damage one bug is going to do. But it's amazing to me when you look at certain insects out in fields, how just a few bugs can really ruin a crop for a farmer. And when the treatment options are relatively inexpensive, it doesn't take many bugs to justify spraying a field. So what this comes back to is how many bugs does it take to do a certain amount of yield damage? So for example, let's say in an acre, it takes 10,000 bugs to cause one bushel yield loss and 20,000 bugs to cause two bushel yield loss for soybeans. If the soybeans are worth let's say $10 a bushel, just for easy figuring, and the cost of the treatment was $10, then obviously if you're gonna spend 10 to gain $10, that really doesn't make any sense. That's not what we're looking for. What we are looking for though is if I can gain $15, let's say for example, at $10 cost, that's pretty good. So basically my economic threshold is that $10, and if that happens to be, whatever, 10,000 bugs out there, then that's what I'm going for. Well, farmers aren't gonna count how many bugs are in no, the entire acre. No, but what they're gonna, they're gonna do is they're around. gonna, they might count one one hundredth or one one thousandth of an acre, something like that. Exactly. And there are ways to figure it out down to the plant. And so what farmers will do is they'll either count the number of bugs per plant, or they'll take a sweep net, and as they walk through the crop, they can just make a few sweeps, and after 10 sweeps or 20 sweeps, they can look what's in that net, count how many insects are in there, look for problem bugs, and figure out if they have enough bugs to justify treatment. The other thing that farmers will look for in that sweep net is the presence of beneficial insects. So for example, if you had five aphids in your sweep net after 10 sweeps, and you had 10 Asian lady beetles that feed on those aphids, well, that's certainly not going to justify a threshold to treat if you've got plenty of predator or beneficial insects out in your field. Let's come back to the math because that's what this really entails. Let's say, for example, that I had 150,000 plants on a per acre basis and I know I have to get above 10,000 bugs. Just do the simple math, that's one bug for 15 plants. So that's how some of these thresholds are arrived at. If the farmer goes out and counts two bugs per 15 plants, he knows that he's got enough of a problem out there, he can absolutely justify the treatment and basically double his money when he sprays. The other thing that farmers will look at when it comes to spraying for insects is that many of these insects, like a soybean aphid for example, will reproduce and they'll go through several generations per year. So by stopping them on the early side with that first generation, they avoid having to deal with them again and again and again throughout the season. Now with some insects, like let's talk about corn rootworm for example, they're in the larvae stage where they're a worm only for a few weeks out of the year. And so farmers, if they miss that window and they don't treat them as a larvae, well, that bug isn't gonna stay in that worm stage very long. Pretty soon it's out of the ground, it's an adult, and it's a whole different insect to deal with. Now we're looking at maybe some silk clipping or something like that. Basically a different economic roots. threshold. So that's what it comes down to. Different stage of insect, a different size of insect may have a different economic threshold. All we're trying to get at here is the farmer is trying to find numbers so he can simply run the math. That's, that's what it all amounts to. So if the farmer can get numbers saying, hey, this number of bugs causes this amount of yield damage, now I can run my own numbers for an economic threshold. So for example, if it costs $10 to treat, I need to have a lot more bugs than if it costs $3 or $4 to treat. And that's really all we're talking about here. If that crop is worth a lot of money and the cost for treatment is low, I can spray with few amount of bugs in the field. 
if my crop is worth very little, let's say it's a drought year, I can only get a few bushels anyway, it's not worth much money, and the cost of treatment is high, then I know that my economic threshold, I have to have a lot of bugs out there to justify the treatment. And the university system in our country has done such a nice job over the years of looking at what kind of impact certain insects have on our crops, and they've figured out how much yield loss will be caused by a certain number of insects out in the field. And then it's just up to us as farmers to run the economics on that, because if the treatment option is $2 versus the treatment option is $20 per acre, well that makes a big difference as to how many bugs it's going to take in your field to trigger that treatment. Well we may run similar economic numbers on our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to control it on your farm coming up later in the show.